Hey guys, it's Kim Kim. My real name is Kemba. In case you're curious, thank you for joining me for another video. And if you're new, then welcome. So today is Curly Miss Day 7. And I have a special guest. I'm going to be asking him natural hair questions. I did this three years ago with my mom. And she kind of did. She did pretty good. So we're going to see if he can do any better. Um, but yeah, we're about to get situated and we're going to get started. Here is a special guest. This is my boyfriend, Trey. He has had, his hair is natural, obviously, but he's had locks and he's also had just hair. I guess just, like just curls, curls out. Couple braids styles, yeah. So he should know some things. So we're gonna see how much he knows. Are you ready? I Question guess. number one. What kind of product is used to seal in moisture? Mm, I'm gonna go with a oil. How you know that? You watch my videos? Simple, simple. Oh, that was, was, was kind of easy. It was bit. simple. Okay, but well, that was that was just number one. Don't do that. Okay. Right. Be careful! Don't kick the stand. Me, it kicks the stand all the time. Anywho, number two, mm -hmm. name a protective style. Uh, natural hair protective style, we're gonna call a updo. Hmm. <laughs> An updo is your phone. What does that mean? Well, honestly, what like with locks, it was called an updo, but hmm. you're not in the camera. <laughs> We're talking about just natural hair, not locks. Natural hair, not locks, protective style. Mm -hmm. um, I need your final answer. Cornrows. I'll give it to him, I guess. I mean, if you. I mean, I did just have. Yeah, you, well, you didn't say. I mean, either way, it's a protective style because okay. your hair isn't rubbing up against things as much. So okay. I'll give it to you, whatever. I'll take it. What does LCO stand for? LCO? Yes. It's a type it's like a method to moisturize your hair. A method to moisturize your hair. Yes. What does the L C and O stand for? L C O. Mm. Um You got me on that one. You have to give a guess. Uh, I need an L a C and an O for uh, L a C and uh and this is a technique, like a method. So I'm it's a method, so it's like different steps. Yeah, there's steps. Okay. I'm, I so what do you think L is? L. This is for moisturizing? Mm-hmm. You look at I don't have any products out here. In case <laughs> <laughs> Um I don't know. You don't have it. They're type of products. L, C, and O are all types of products. L? Yes. What L? Okay, well, do you know what a C or an O is? Do you have any guesses? I'll give you three points for one for each letter if you can guess any of the letters. I think I'm gonna get zero points on this one. I need you to guess <laughs> something. Come on, come <laughs> on, say something. This is gonna sound stupid. I was gonna say lock, but it makes no sense. Ah. Makes no sense at all. Okay, well that was wrong for like L. Locking in moisture. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing. But they're products. They're types of products. Mm -hmm. Okay, well L is wrong. What is C? Condition. No. Mm. Unfortunately, no. What? Did, okay. Oh. Cream. Is that your final answer for C? Yes. Cream is correct. Okay. Now, what is O? I mean, I know it's something that people use for moisture, like natural hair. Mm hmm. Oh. Olive oil is something people use. Is it a specific ingredient or is it more so like a... It's, a, it's not a specific ingredient, but I'm going to give it to you because the oil, the o, is oil the yeah. o is oil. So yeah. I'm going to give, yeah, I'm gonna give you two points. So what's the, hold on, what's the L though? L is a liquid slash leave-in. 
So like water. Yes, you can use water or you can use a leave-in condition. Oh. Some okay. people use like hair teas too. Like you boil the hair tea and you spray it on your hair. LC. So like so it's liquid cream liquid oil. Cream you use oil. a liquid, then you add the cream, then you have the oil to seal in all the moisture, as you know. Yeah, that's the one I knew. Mm -hmm. That's the one I knew. Okay. Okay. Name a black owned natural hair care brand. Only reason why I know this, because we were just talking about it. She got a lot of hair. The, uh, uh, she got the, the yellow brand. Um, look like. Um, What's it called? You have to give me the name. Uh, I'm start with P. Pattern? Yes, it is! Oh my gosh, you're so smart. By Tracy Ellis Ross. Yeah, I won't go get her name. I just know she got like... You said the one with the curly and she, she got, got a lot, lot of hair. hair. She got a lot of yes. hair on her head. Yes, because we were, we were literally just talking. Yep. Look at you. Number five, what is a big chop? A big chop is whenever you chop off the majority of your hair that you've been growing, whether it's locks or natural hair. Okay, but why do people do it? To, well, whether your hair was unhealthy, you tried to cut down all the unhealthy hair, or if you're just trying to restart, you'll do a big chop. Why you know all that? <laughs> Is that right? I mean, basically. Why do we get our ends trimmed? You get your ends trimmed when they start to split so your hair doesn't break off. I'm assuming that's right by your facial expression. I'm blaming all this on him having hair before. I, that's it. Nothing else. Nobody else taught him this unless it was his mother is his sisters. Anywho. Mm -hmm. What does transition mean? What does transition mean? I mean, it means a lot of things. As far as natural hair. Yes, means. as far as natural hair, what does transition mean? Um, usually doesn't it mean you're transitioning from like straight hair, like perms to like natural hair? Yes. I guess I'll give you that. Okay, guys, this is the bonus question. I have three utensils right here, and I need Trey to tell me which one is a curl former, which one is a flexi rod, and which one is a perm rod. Okay. So let's do flexi rod first. Flexi rod? Mm -hmm. This one. Okay, what is the curl former? Curl former is this right here. Okay, and this, I'm going to guess, is what you believe is the perm rod. Well, now that you, this doesn't look more like a rod than this. There's two rods in a curl former. Flexi rod, perm rod, curl former. Yeah, this is my final answer. I'm going to say this is the, the perm rod. This is the perm rod. Mm -hmm. You are correct. What is this? That's the curl former. And? And this is the flexi, flexi rod. rod. Unfortunately, you got these two mixed up. This is a flexi rod. And this is a curl former. So you got one point. So let us tally up your total. I'm surprised I got one of these. Because, yeah. I mean, I'm good with like at least five points. As long as I get five, I'm, I'm happy. You got, first of all, you got something right every time. One, two. Out of 12, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll take it. Nine out of 12. I'll take it. 
I'll take it. I mean, I knew he had some kind of knowledge because, like I said, he's had multiple different natural hairstyles. But 9 out of 12? Mm -hmm. 9 out of 12. What's that? I don't know. It's like 70%. Something like that. Whatever. Anywho. That concludes day seven of Curly Miss. Um, he did a great job. Don't put those up because that's where you really messed up. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you tune in for the rest of Curly Miss. Um, and comment, like, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell a cousin. Tell so, all of them. To tell a cousin. Follow me on what? What do they follow me on? Oh, they follow you on Instagram. Uh-huh. On, on the TikTok, mm -hmm. you feel me? And on YouTube, but you subscribe on that. Yeah, I already right said now. subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all is down below. Um, I think that's it. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was pretty fun. I mean, as long as I got, I think I passed, so I, yeah, I'm good. Mm -hmm. That's all I came to do anyway. Stay tuned for Curly Miss Day 8 because he will be making another guest appearance. We'll see you on the next one. Bye!